Ready4 is a feature in Motorola mobile devices that lets the user use some functions of their mobile phone and its applications on their computer. They can stream their mobile apps, use their mobile as desktop, screen share their mobile on computer, use mobile as webcam, carry out file transfers, etc. In this video we will see such interaction between Motorola Edge 40 Neo mobile phone and Windows 10 system. The Ready4 application comes pre-installed on Motorola mobile device. But first, we need to install the Ready4 Assistant application on our Windows 10 system. To do so, in the browser, we will search for Motorola Ready4 PC. Click on this link. Here, we will scroll a little bit down. Under the heading, Bring Your Phone and PC Together, click on, Download Ready for PC for Windows 10. Here we will click Install. It will be installed from the Microsoft Store. We will click on Open Microsoft Store. Here we will click Install. Once it is installed, we are all set to use the Ready for Assistant. These are all the functionalities that the Ready4 feature provides. First, we are required to pair our mobile device with our computer. Here we have two modes of pairing. Wireless mode, and cable mode. We will be looking at the wireless pairing. We will need to scan this QR code from the Ready4 app on our mobile device. Let's open the Ready4 application on our phone. Click, Get Started. Click on PC. Click, Scan QR Code. Now we need to scan the provided QR code. And the pairing is complete. We can see the name of our mobile device, its connection pairing status, and, its battery charge percentage. We can see the list of all the activities or functionalities that we can perform using the Ready for Assistant. We can perform these activities from the computer, or from our mobile device, except for this PC lock activity. PC lock functionality can be used only from the mobile device. We cannot find it on the Ready for Assistant on computer. Let us look at these functionalities or activities one by one. First is app streaming. Here we can access any app on our mobile device and use it on our computer. This is the list of applications present in our mobile phone. We can use app streaming from mobile device too. We can see the list of apps. Suppose I start YouTube from this list, we can see it streaming on our computer. In the same way, we can access the YouTube app on our mobile device from the Ready for Assistant on our computer. This is YouTube from our mobile device streaming on our computer. So this was the app streaming functionality of Ready4. The next function we will see is Mobile Desktop. This functionality allows user to use their mobile device as a desktop system. Let us see it. Here we can select window orientation and window resolution. For now, we will just start the mobile desktop by clicking here. Or, we can also start the mobile desktop from our mobile device. Let's start it. This is the mobile desktop window. Let me make it full screen. This is actually our mobile device emulated as a desktop-like interface on our computer. This is the app tray, and from here we can access all our mobile apps. Let's open an application and see what it looks like. We can say that it gives us a full desktop-like experience. If a call arrives, we can accept or decline the call from here itself. We can also reply to messages received. Currently, the window orientation is landscape. We can change it to portrait if we want. We can also try other window resolutions from these three resolution options. So this was about the mobile desktop function of the Ready4 feature. The next activity is, phone on PC, or, screen share. 
It shares the screen of our mobile device and creates a virtual copy of our mobile device on the computer. On clicking on it, we get two options. Mirror phone and virtual phone. In the mirror phone option, the screen of our mobile device is mirrored on our computer screen. All the actions performed are mirrored. There is little lag because the connection between the devices is wireless. The second option is virtual phone. It creates a virtual copy of our mobile device on our computer. There is no screen mirroring taking place. We can perform actions on the virtual phone without affecting the actual physical phone or vice versa. It works like a virtual desktop feature on Windows computers. They act as separate instances. Any call or message notification obtained will be reflected on the virtual device also, and, we can respond to them from the virtual device too. Let us see the next activity, which is the webcam. Here we can use the back or the front camera of our mobile device as a webcam. This is the feed from the back camera of our mobile phone. We have zoom functionality too. By clicking here, we can switch between the front and back cameras. The next activity is file transfer. Clicking on it opens the internal storage of our mobile phone in our computer's file explorer. Using this, we can share files between our phone and our computer. It makes file sharing among devices simple. The hotspot activity turns on the hotspot to connect to ready for devices. We can use it to tether our mobile network to the computer. So it will be useful at a place with no Wi-Fi access and we can use our phone's internet on our computer. The next function is PC lock. It activates the Windows lock screen on our computer, from our mobile phone. We will need to manually unlock the Windows lock screen from our computer. We cannot do it from our mobile phone. The next is Smart Clipboard. When we copy something like text or image, our copied selection is held on the clipboard, a temporary storage buffer, where it remains until we copy something else or shut down your computer. It enables users to paste the copied content to different applications too. In Ready4 Smart Clipboard, it keeps a history of the copied selection. We can paste it as and when needed. Ready4 provides a shared clipboard to the connected devices. That means we can copy a selection from one device and paste it onto another device. Let us see a demonstration. Right now we don't have anything saved in our smart clipboard. Let's copy a text from our computer's browser. We have copied the word, ready. Here on the phone, we are notified that the word ready has been copied to the clipboard. We can see that ready word is saved in the clipboard history. Note that, we copied the word from our computer, now we will paste it on our mobile. The word ready is pasted. Let's try the other way around. We will copy a text from our mobile and try pasting it on the computer. For demonstration, I have typed the word cats on my phone's Google search bar. I will copy the word cat from here. We can see that we have been notified about the same on our phone. Also, under smart clipboard, the word cats has been added to the clipboard history. Now I will give the paste command in our computer's search bar. And the word, cats, is pasted. So in this case, we were able to copy a selection from our phone and paste it into our computer. All this had been made possible by the ready for smart clipboard, which shares the clipboard among the connected devices so that it can be used among them. We can see the smart clipboard from our phone. It is the same as the smart clipboard on our computer having the words, ready, and, cats, saved in its history. So this was a brief idea on using the, ready for, feature for our Motorola mobile device. If you liked the information then, please like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your time, and patience. Have a nice day.